Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, skin care, skin health ingredients, something you may have heard about, read about. Of course, if you have a success story, we love hearing those. Or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We'll take your calls in our second segment today. We've got a guest coming up. At the bottom of the hour, Dr. Elena George, author of the book, Big Medicine, The Cost of Corporate Control, and how doctors and patients working together can rebuild a better system. Dr. George is an ENT doctor, ear, nose, and throat physician, MD, otolaryngologist, as they say, from Princeton University. Dr. George is not messing around. Princeton University is one of the best schools, one of the best medical schools in the country. She's also got a master's degree in microbiology. We'll talk to Elena George about Big Medicine at the bottom of the hour. And we'll get your calls here in our next segment. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please head to my blog, criticalhealthnews.com, or also pharmacistben.com, or brightsideben.com. You can order products right off the website. And, of course, you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website. Or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Treatment, Truth uh, Skin Health Treatments, go over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Check out our retinol. 5% 5% gel made with a whole bunch of lipophilic, fatty, premium, very expensive vitamin C. You're not going to find that anywhere, folks. No preservatives, no fragrance, no uh, waxes, fillers, water, anything. No nothing that your skin can't use. None of uh, all the truth treatment products contain no excipients, no fillers, because you shouldn't have to pay for that stuff. All right. We're talking fats, especially essential fats and especially how, it, how essential fats are related to skin and skin health. There's so much misunderstanding about the skin. We spend billions, tens of billions of dollars on tens of thousands of different skincare products. And for the most part, from a biology, from a biological and from a biochemical perspective, they are useless with a capital U. Useless. I got a letter from a, a gal in Canada, Cus. Uh, Caso Rossum Yi, I think she says this, Caso Rossum Yi. She says, hello, where can I buy your products? I'm in Alberta, Canada. I've been suffering with cystic acne for two years, and the exacerbation is usually 10 days prior to menstruation. Now, what do you guys think about that? If you're a regular listener to this program, what do you think about a skin condition that flares up 10 days before menstruation, before a period? Well, obviously, it's related to a period. It's not a skin problem. It's a hormone problem. And as we've been saying, we said yesterday, and we've been saying for the last couple of weeks, if you have a hormone problem, you've got a food problem and or a thought and emotion problem. Those are the two major control points for hormones, food and thoughts and emotions. Food and thoughts and emotions. When I say food, I'm also talking about sugar and toxicity that are associated with foods. Kasorasum Yi continues. It's usually along the jawline, sometimes, sometimes on the cheeks, forehead, and temporal area. What skin product would be helpful? Thank you. The reason I think this is an important letter is because it's emblematic of how we think about the skin. This poor girl who's dealing with this condition and cystic acne, if you haven't had it, it's miserable. It's awful. It's painful to, it's painful to have and it's painful to look at. 
And it's unfortunate and tragic because it doesn't have to happen. If you have a cyst growing, it's a lymph problem. And if you have a lymph problem, you got a food problem, period. Or a, a nutritional problem, I should say. This poor gal doesn't know this. Somebody's probably selling her skincare products. So I write back, hi there. Well, I'd love to sell you some of my true skin health products, uh, skin health treatments. And while they may improve the texture and appearance and even the health of your skin, it sounds like you have an internal nutritional and digestive problem, not a skincare issue. And then I gave her my phone number, told her to call me. As a skincare professional, that's what I am primarily. Well, I'm a skincare professional as well as a nutritionist and as well as a pharmacist. But I have a special passion for the skin. I've been working for this, with the skin for 30 years on all levels, as a formulator, as a compound pharmacist, as a researcher, as an educator. I owned a school where we taught estheticians some of these ideas that we talk about every day on this program. So all the, I wear many hats as a healthcare person, but skin is really my passion and my love. And as a skincare professional, the most important thing I can tell you guys about the body's largest organ, the skin, is the beauty and the attractiveness of the skin, the health of the skin, the resistance to disease of the skin. And remember, the skin is designed to be resistant. That's what its purpose is, is to, is to uh, protect the inside from the outside. The number one factor when it comes to skin health, to understand how to take care of your skin health, is if you have a skin problem, you have an internal problem with rare exceptions. Sometimes you may get an, a topical allergy to latex or something like that, but that's rare. Maybe solar radiation, sun poisoning or something. Even those are going to be related to the internal milieu. But for the most part, 99% of the time, skin health issues, dry skin, rosacea, eczema, psoriasis, accelerated aging, wrinkles, dark spots, you name it. These are the end result of internal health conditions. No one just has eczema. No one just has psoriasis. No one just has acne. No one just has hyperpigmentation. These are the end results. These are the final stages of a breakdown pro a, a process that's occurring inside the body. And so if you have these things on the outside of the body, that's the end. The eczema is the end. It's the end of the, uh, it's the final result. It's the way the body has dealt with the biochemical dysfunction. You can't treat that part. That's why dermatology is useless. It's the most useless of all medical professions. That's why the only thing you'll ever get at a dermatologist's office is an antibiotic or a steroid. To this day, decades after we discovered steroids and antibiotics, decades after uh, the profession of dermatology was established, we're still treating people with the same useless procedures. Drugs like antibiotics and steroids, or sometimes maybe surgeries, or radiation, or cryotherapy, the dumbest of the dumb. And I'm sorry to my friends who are dermatologists, and I have many. And I tell them to their face. I tell them all the time. And they laugh. I once, tell, I once asked a, a friend of mine, a dermatologist, I said, why are you prescribing these antibiotics? This was about 15 years ago. Why are you prescribing these antibiotics for rosacea when you know good and well? It's not a bacterial condition. Rosacea is a classic digestive issue. And she said to me, that's what patients expect. Now, this was before doctors knew about antibiotic resistance. Pharmacists knew about it. But this was before doctors knew about it. And she said to me, she was a big writer, too. She was one of the biggest writers in the, I'm not going to tell you what city it was, because she's pretty famous, but she says to me, that's what patients expect. They don't feel like they've gotten treated unless they got an antibiotic. Well, I'm sorry, that's not good enough. If you can't figure out what the heck to tell your patient and you're a dermatologist about essential fatty acids, about vitamin A, about food allergies, about the lymph, then you shouldn't be in the business. Anyway, no one just has a skin health issue. Skin health issues are symptoms, they're signs of problems, they're not the problems themselves, and you cannot effectively eliminate symptoms without eliminating the causes. Got another letter here from Randall. This one's tragic. Randall says, can you help me with my girlfriend's son's R-D-E-B? You're going to love this one, R-D-E-B. I'll tell you what this is when we come back from our break. And I'll tell you what I said to Randall, or what I wrote back to Randall. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're talking to Dr. Elena George. At the bottom of the hour, we'll take your calls in our next segment. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. are back on the bright side. Our number is 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls in just a moment. Got Dr. Elena George coming up at the bottom of the hour. We're going to talk about big medicine. 
This is such an important idea because we, most of us, are laboring under the illusion that somehow doctors love us. That somehow our doctors are our friends. They do house calls. They got their little bags, little uh, doctor bags with the stethoscope, and they give us a little kiss on the forehead and, a, and some aspirin and medicine, and all is right in the world. Marcus Welby, MD. This is the idea. This is what big medicine wants us to think. It's not true. Big medicine is really about corporations, the same way big pharma is about corporations, the same way our world is run by a corporatocracy, our healthcare system is the same, it's the same setup. It's a corporatocracy. We, we don't live in a democracy. We live in a corporatocracy. The corporations run the world. And that's egregious enough when it comes to how we live our lives in terms of paying our bills. But when it, when it comes to our health, when it comes to our biology, our biochemistry, our wellness, that's just nasty business, man. Anyway, Dr. Elena George is going to talk about that, the cost of corporate uh, uh, corporate control, big medicine. And we'll do that at the bottom of the hour. Get your calls here in just a minute. There's a, God, so many things I want to say here about the skin. A new uh, FDA approves new plaque psoriasis treatment. Plaque psoriasis is one of the worst kinds of psoriasis. There's no treatment for psoriasis. You don't need to be treated for it. This is a kind of vitamin D sort of substance. How do you like that? This new drug, calcipatriene hydrate, is a, with a steroid, is a sort of kind of sort of fake vitamin D, pharmacological. I'm pretty sure that's. I have to look at look into that. That's what it sounds like from the chemistry, but from the name. Vitamin D is a tried and true. I don't want to say treatment, but tried and true strategy for improving psoriasis. The sun, everybody knows, everybody who has psoriasis knows when they're out in the sun, it improves. They use sun lamps. Dermatologists, smart dermatologists will use sun lamps. That's why fish oil is so important. Fish oil is amazing stuff, by the way, for the skin. From uh, the latest edition of the Journal of Dermatological Science, oral supplementation with fish oil reduces dryness and itching. Pruritus, they say. That's itching in uh, dry skin. I've, I've seen this for decades. All essential fats. I want to talk about essential fats here in the skin. We'll do that on our next program. I've got a bunch of calls here I want to get to. Uh, just one thing. Uh, Randall writes from, uh, Randall, I don't know where Randall's writing from, but he talks about his girlfriend's son's skin condition, R-D-E-B. You're going to love this one. Recursive dystrophic epidermolysis boule. Yes, that's the name of the disease. Recursive dystrophic epidermolysis boule. Now, if somebody told me I had that and I didn't know what it was, I'd be freaked out. And of course... Poor Randall's freaked out. But all this means is you've got inflammation in your epidermis. And because of it, the top of your skin is separating off of the bottom. It's caused by, guess what? Inflammation. The same thing that causes everything. If you want to know about a cause, and it's not really a cause, it's a precursor. It comes ahead of disease. It's always going to be inflammation. And there's only three reasons why we have inflammation. Nutrition, or I'm sorry, starvation, suffocation, and toxification. Take that to the bank, people. Starvation, suffocation, toxification leads to inflammation, which leads to more starvation, suffocation, and toxification. Why is this important? Because starvation means nutrition. Suffocation means oxygen, breathing. And detoxification means stop putting the crap in the system. Do you hear any place for a dermatologist or a doctor there? No. That's why it's important. It's because it empowers us. That's what this program is about. It's about empowering us in the most fundamental, uh, in the, uh, empowering us in the most fundamental aspect of our livingness, and that's our health and our wellness. You guys, our bodies are meant to heal. This is so tragic. This is so heartbreaking. You know, if you have a health challenge or your loved one has a health challenge, yeah, it's heartbreaking to you to watch, but I'm seeing it over and over again, thousands of times. I'm seeing people suffer needlessly. And then going to healthcare professionals who are ignorant themselves, hopefully, and not just mean-spirited. I'm just going to give them the benefit of doubt and say they're ignorant. And it's so, so unnecessary. Get on a supplement program. Reduce your intake of any foods that mess up your digestive system. Breathe deeply. Use good thoughts and good, don't marginalize the idea of mental and emotional and spiritual strategies as well. Reduce your intake of sugar. Get on a rebounder. Move your body. These are all the basic strategies that can allow our bodies to restore itself, restore itself. And we're not doing the work here. The body's doing the work. We're just creating the setup. We're just setting the basis for the body to hit the home run. We're just setting the table for the body to have the meal. We're just preparing the way for the body to do its work. 
and it's not difficult and it's most certainly not